that's always been my policy, except it doesn't always work because what tends to happen is that I get them drunk, but then I get myself drunk as well. And by the next morning, I can't remember a single story they told me, but the, we now actually, Ian Hislop, the editor, and I have a, a sort of good cop, bad cop, well, actually, sober cop, drunk cop, more routine, I think. So he's very abstemious. Uh, he, he might have one glass of wine, but no more than that. So he can usually, even if I can't remember uh, what's gone on, after a 10-hour lunch, um, Ian has usually managed to pick it up himself. I do scribble it down before oblivion takes over completely. Now, I'm afraid it's the, the last refuge of uh, drinking hacks, because all newspapers in the days of Fleet Street, 20 or 30, 30 years ago, certainly, um, Fleet Street was notorious for spend, most journalists spending their day in pubs and wine bars uh, in Fleet Street, whereas now journalists in London come into work, log on to their computer, stare at the screen all day, and then go straight home again. Uh, and all that, the long lunches and the drinking have gone, and I'm sure it's a very good thing, but once every two weeks we try to keep the, the flame burning a bit longer. Um, it would be impossible if you did it every day, but once every two weeks it's just about bearable.